Now at six, looking for answers in the FSU shooting. Myron was a good boy, a good man. Something went terribly wrong, and I don't know what that was. As students and faculty try to return to a normal campus life. It was really nice to just see all the smiling faces, welcoming you, like, welcome to the library. It was like a normal day, so like, it was kind of like nothing ever happened. All this as we learn that one of the shooting victims is from here in South Florida. Strozier Library reopened and classes resumed today as the school tries to get back to normal. We've got live team coverage, including new information about the gunman. Let's begin with CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Tallahassee. And Ted, what do we know about the victims? Elliot, we now have the names of all three of them, and we know one of them is from South Florida. He was the one who was least seriously injured. He was shot right back here behind me on the steps there, the step area of the library. He's an 18-year-old student who came face to face with the gunman. Elijah Velez from Miramar was one of three guys shot at the library at FSU. The Everglades High School graduate is studying biochemistry. Police say he was grazed by a bullet but not seriously injured. Police also released the name Farhan Ahmed. The 21-year-old was shot near Velez on the steps of the library. Oh my God, are you okay? The man shot inside is Nathan Scott. The 30-year-old was hit in the leg. He worked at the library. Since these shootings early Thursday morning, the library has been closed. It's now open again. It was really nice to just see all the smiling faces welcoming you. Like, Welcome to the library. It was like a normal day, so like, it was kind of like nothing ever happened. With FSU's president welcomed students back early Thursday morning on the steps of the library. Police say FSU alum Myron May shot two people, then walked inside with his 380 semi automatic, targeting employee Nathan Scott. It was here in this lobby area where that gunman shot the library employee. That employee was able then to go over to the turnstiles there and get into the main part of the library. In the world? Now students on campus are writing letters to the three people who were injured and making remembrance posters to hang in the library. Know that they're supported by FSU and that um, hopefully they can gain some strength. Uh, and especially the one in critical condition, hopefully she's able to, or she or he is able to fight even more now, knowing the support of an entire university is behind her. And the victim should feel that support even more when the unconquered Seminoles take the field Saturday afternoon. Their helmets will feature a special ribbon. The team tweeted, we are proud to be wearing ribbon decals on our helmets tomorrow. The band will also play a tribute before kickoff. Students and alumni say that spirit, that support, when times get tough, make the Knowles who they are. The whole semi Seminole community united. You know, this is a terrible tragedy, but we are one, you know, one team, one heartbeat, one school. And as for that victim from South Florida, Elijah Velez, he was treated on the scene and he is not in the hospital. The other two remain in the hospital tonight. Now with